So anyway, we've got some audio sound bites, and it was the, tr- the the Million Man March Part Two. Calypso Louis gathered the troops in uh, in Washington, the Mall, to uh, redo the Million Man March, and it was. I'm, t- I'm glad it happened. We've got some audio sound bites from it. It was a bunch of people that hate this country on parade, and they were saying so uh, blatantly and in front of everybody. We also have, of course, the political news is based on the fact that Democrat debate is tomorrow night in Las Vegas. And there's all kinds of concern and worry about this. CNN says they're going to put a podium up for Joe Biden. They're trying to entice Biden into showing up because without Trump on the stage, actually without the Republicans on the stage, this debate's going to be a yawner. Nobody's going to watch it. Not in terms of the numbers that watch the uh, Republican debate. The people are going to tune into this thing tomorrow night are going to be tuning in to see a car wreck. They want to see Hillary implode. They want to see whatever Bernie Sanders has, who he is, what he's going to do, what it's going to look like. Um, And by the way, you know what? CNN has made an announcement. Anderson Cooper, host of Anderson Cooper 19, has made an announcement. And that is they are not going to pit Democrat candidates against each other. That is not part of the debate format. Now, that is a distinct difference from the first Fox debate when that's exactly what did happen. And there are a number of theories as to why it happened. I mean, the theories run the gamut. Uh, Fox wanting to show everybody you're not in the tank for the Republicans. Fox wanted to demonstrate that they can be hard on Republicans. Uh, uh, Fox uh, wanting to take out all opponents of Jeb Bush. I mean, there were any number of theories running around to explain that theory. So it's 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 Anderson Cooper who's just out front here saying, "Sorry, we're not going to do that. We're not going to pit these people against each other." Of course, never did expect that to happen. That's the difference. You know, CNN, the drive-by media, they don't have any guilt feelings. They don't think they have to prove themselves to anybody. And they certainly don't think they have to be critical of people on their own side for credibility, which sadly is what many Republicans still believe. That the only way you can be credible as a Republican or as a conservative media person is to be critical of your own team. That proves that you're not biased. That proves you are not afraid to criticize your own people. Except it never happens on the left. CNN would never, ever do anything. Now, the candidates might. But CNN's not going to do anything to make any of these people look bad. They rally the troops. They circle the wagon. They do everything they can to protect. It's like this movie with Mary Mapes and, and, and about Dan Rather and this, this National Guard business.